Hi, welcome to the world of Nandi Astrology. My name is Dr. N. Srinivasan Shastri. Sorry for missing you for quite some time. Nowadays, it is being late in giving you the subject. Because I have little health problems, let me not continue with the same dialogue. Just like I said last time, people will understand. You people definitely will understand. <coughs> we have completed up till Saturn. Today, we are going to take up the know-how or the secrets of Rahu and Ketu. Even Rahu and Ketu can be defined or we can use Rahu and Ketu or we can know different things from Rahu and Ketu. All this time we were calculating on the clockwise movement of the planets and what they are going to give us or conjunctions or fifth house or ninth house aspect like this. Now we are going to touch a sensitive two planets. Though it is shadowy planets. Rahu and Ketu is called as shadowy planets. They say that it has no capacity of its own. I don't accept that because even they play a major role in changing a life's pattern or a person's life's path. They involve and they change to a drastic extent. Okay? How they are going to change and when they are going to change. We have found that while the transiting Jupiter touches the other planets or any other planet, when we talk about, when we discussed about each planet, we, 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 I revealed a few hints where you can know many things about placement of different planets in connection with one single planet. Right now, we are going to concentrate on a few things what Rahu and Ketu is going to give us while they transit anticlockwise. Okay? And you all know very well that they take one and a half year to travel from one Rasi to another Rasi. I repeat here also again, I am not considering the degrees part of it. The entry into the Rasi will start giving the effect. When the effect will be exactly coming into the picture or the event of happening. When that is going to happen, for this question you have to wait for the rounds of Jupiter. And after that, after the rounds of Jupiter, if you learn about the rounds of Jupiter, then you will come to know what the Jupiter does, though Jupiter stays in one Rasi for one complete year. I told you earlier, drop out the retrogradeness, that period of retrogradeness. Generally, one, one Jupiter in one Rasi will take one whole year. Fine. Likewise, we can also know throughout that year, okay, in connection to the Rahu's transiting position, where exactly it is located, where exactly it is with the planet, or in which Rasi it is entering into a, uh, in which Rasi, Rahu or Ketu is trying to enter, and who is there in that sign of Rasi, and then calculating that plus the month-wise calculation of Jupiter will give us the result of the exact month of happenings of the event which Rahu and Ketu are going to give us. First we will learn about the incidents, then we will go to know exactly when they are going to give us that results. When I start about the rounds of Jupiter, when I tell you the secrets, how to know about month-wise prediction. This will be a small session 
but it is elaborately used when you club this to the main part or the mainstream of Nadi astrology. There you have to search for so many angles. I know this will be a little confusing now, but when I start about the Jupiter's rounds, definitely this will give you some connection with my talking about, with my discussing about Jupiter rounds. Okay? Now let us not worry about Jupiter, that will be coming. I am just giving you a clue how it can be used for the rest of the chart or for a complete chart analysis. Clear? Yes. Now let us know how of Rahu and Ketu. These are the beautiful things what Rahu and Ketu are going to give us. What is Rahu and Ketu? Rahu and Ketu is the family circle. Follow? It is family circle. There are planets from Ketu and Rahu or from Rahu and Ketu. I will show you on a diagrammatic representation that will clear your doubts. Okay? Because they go anti-clockwise. For example, when you have Rahu in Aries, Ketu will be in Libra. So when it goes anti-clockwise, Rahu will be the first one to touch all the planets, Ketu will be touching the other side of the planets. This is one pattern. The second pattern, if at all Rahu is there in Libra, Ketu is there in Aries, same thing applies here. But there is a difference between Rahu and Ketu. I have told you earlier also, Rahu acts like Venus. It will create an hindrance. It will create a change. It will create a beginning. It will create a problem or issue. But it will not dismantle the product. Clear? I will explain. Ketu. On the second, second hand, on the other hand, Ketu. <clears throat> Ketu, whenever it touches the planet, it will demolish the parts. Because Ketu acts like Saturn. Ketu is after death. Ketu is death. Or liberation. Saturn is also death. So Saturn and Ketu act together. Of course, there are so many other controversies. I don't know. What least I know, I am trying to place it in front of you all. So it may help you. What I have seen, what I have enjoyed, what I have analyzed, what I have seen the success, I mean the rate I have seen the success in analyzing in this format, it was good. So I would like to present it in front of you all to understand it in this format, try to analyze it on your own horoscopes or on any other horoscopes where you lay your hands on and then come to one decision. This is only the subject I am trying to pass on to you. It is not that it is not a hard and fast rule that you should follow it. You can throw it, you can play with it, you can forget about that. It depends upon your interest or your way of perceiving the subject. Okay? It is not my problem. Only thing is, if you try to do it this way, you will know a few more things better or in depth about the situation about the happenings. Clear? Right. So I said Rahu and Ketu is the family circle. Clear? Yes, it is a family circle. In this family circle, we have got a few questions only or a few doubts. That I will clear first. First, when Jupiter is out of Rahu Ketu circle, as soon as somebody sees a chart, Rahu and Ketu, encased all the other planets between their circle or inside the circle. They say or they call it as Sarpadosham. Fine. Very good. Apart from that, there is other meaning also. When they are encased, all the planets are bound, there is a boundary of Rahu and Ketu among all the planets or around the planets. Definitely there will be hindrances in work. It will not 
keep a person very low. But to each and everything the person does, there will be hindrances. He has to struggle and he has to come out. But definitely there will be a path outside. Not always it will be the same summer. There will be summer, there will be winter. Like this. Fine. <coughs> so, first thing we will take about Jupiter. Jupiter is the Atma Karaka. Jupiter is the person in question. So, what it says about the person? When Jupiter is out of the Rahu and Ketu circle, I told you he will be struggling. So, he will become a wanderer for a long time and then he will settle down. No man is denied of all the benefits. Every man, every human being to at one time or the other will enjoy the benefits of all the planets. But the elasticity, how far he is going to enjoy, how much he is going to enjoy, that depends on the chart, planetary positions. Okay? But enjoyment will be there. Nobody is downtrodden. Everybody will enjoy a bit of happiness, a bit of sadness. The depth of happiness and the flourishing level of success will depend on the planetary positions and the placement of Jupiter only. Okay? So when Jupiter is outside the Rahu and Ketu circle, definitely it will keep him a it will it will make him a wanderer for a certain period of time. And after that again he is going to enjoy his periods. One thing. Second thing. If at all we find Mars, why we have taken Mars? Mars is one of the blood personality, a blood brother or a brother like this. So when we take Mars into consideration, Mars is the brother, Mars is the person who belongs to that family circle. When Mars is outside the family circle, definitely you can come to one conclusion that the brother is a step brother. Or there is one more thing here. If at all it is not a step brother issue, or if he is not a step brother, the next thing will be he will be against the family or the people inside the family. He will be totally different from the family, acting differently from the family. The Mars, the brother. Okay, this is one way of knowing it. Rahu Ketu circle and Mars outside the Rahu Ketu circle. Next, there is one more Venus. One more planet, Venus. Of course, even that, that is a sister, poor thing. She also belongs to the family circle. Because a person will have a brother, a person will have a sister. Don't ask me. I don't have a sister, I am I have born. I am the only kid of the family. I don't have any explanation for that. What I am telling you, generally, what all we find about the planet and we treat that Venus as sister, when we treat that Venus as sister and when that Venus is out of the family circle, you can name it as stepsister or, apart from stepsister or, the sister will be totally indifferent to the family. This is what we can know about. Venus being outside the family circle, Rahu Ketu. Mars being outside the family circle, Rahu Ketu. Clear? These are the three important points which I wanted to tell you, which I have noticed, I have given it to you. Now again, it is your job to know how far there is truth in that. Don't try to analyze one or two, two charts and bring a big doubt. Try to do as many charts as possible, then only you can be perfect in one particular aspect, calculation or knowledge. So we have done with this stepsister business, step brother business and uh, all this family circle aspects. Clear? The second part of Rahu. What does Rahu say? Or what does Rahu give us? Every individual, every native will have Rahu in one Rasi or sign or some Rasi or sign according to his date of birth. Fine. What is that Rahu? 
and what it tells. Of course, when I touched Rahu, when I told you about Rahu significations in my earlier videos, I have given you. But in addition to that, once again, I want to repeat. Repetition is not doing you any harm. It will just brush up your knowledge on that or it will get fixed inside your subject. That's the reason I am repeating it. So this is a chart, South Indian chart. Because I don't have much space for a North Indian chart also. Now here, you have got 12 Rasis. Rahu and Ketu, they stand opposite. Always. So when Rahu is in the first sign, Aries, naturally Ketu will be in the Libra. What does Rahu say? What does Ketu say? These two things we are going to understand? No. Because Rahu says a different thing. I told you. It may disturb the health. But it will not cut off the health. Whereas Ketu, it will bring danger to that particular portion where it is situated. Ketu will just make it out. Suppose if it is staying in the Okay, I will come. Instead of giving you all the suppositions, I will come with the direct study. Now Rahu. Let us assume that Rahu is there. I am not touching Ketu now. I will explain about Ketu later. Rahu. When Rahu, when Rahu is in Aries, Mesha, Mesha, clear? Mesha, what is Mesha? I have been telling you all, from the beginning, among the 12 Rasis, Mesha is the head, this is the throat, Taurus, Rishabha, Mithunam, Gemini, that is the shoulders, your shoulders, and Cancer, lungs, chest, breast, all these things pertaining to the Cancer, Karkataka, Karkras, Leo, it talks about the stomach and also the spine. Next, <coughs> Virgo. It tells us about the intestines, large intestines and small intestines. Then Libra, the sexual organ of it, he or she. If it is a male chart, it is he. If it is a female chart, it is her sexual organ. Next, Scorpio. Scorpio will tell us about the testicles in a case or about uterus in a case next we will go to this danus this is the thighs part of the human being and makaram capricorn that is the kneecaps of an individual then aquarius that is the calf muscles of an individual pisces that is the feet of an individual Many a times I have told you earlier that Rahu is also a vehicle and that's why we are relating it to Venus. Rahu acts like Venus, Ketu like Saturn, death, after death, etc. Why? No. When Rahu stands in Aries, what I told you, Aries is the head. So when Aries is the head, when Rahu sits in the head, Definitely he will bring problems or health issues pertaining to head. Or if a person falls down, he will be having a mark on the head. Or Rahu, the head will be the first part where it will get hurt. Clear? This is about Rahu in Aries. Now next, Rahu in Taurus, Rishabha. I told you that is the third part of it. When Rahu is there in the throat, you check as many as as many charts as possible. You will find that these people suffer from either tonsils, tonsillates, or this uh, thyroid problem pertaining to throat. Okay, it will not kill it. It will not kill the native. It will not dismantle the native's throat. But there will be problem lingering on there. That is the job of the Rahu. It will give a problem but it will not bring a danger. Okay? 
This is about Taurus, Gemini. Gemini people will have problems in the shoulders, both the shoulders or left or right, wherever it may be. They will have or they will suffer from that problems. Okay. Cancer, Karkatakaras or Kark. When Rahu stays in Karakrasi, if it is a female, they will have very dry breasts, milking problem. If it is for both male and female, at times you will find allergy problems to the lungs. Dry cough will linger on or will be continuous. The native will be suffering continuously. Because Rahu in Cancer, chest, lungs, breasts, heart, these are the four places uh, Cancer is giving us, and I mean signifies us and these are the parts of the body which should be affected when Rahu sits there, okay. Now next, we will come to stomach, Leo, Simma Rasi, when Rahu is in Leo, these people will suffer from gastric problems, gastroenteritis, all these types of problems. On the other hand, spinal problems also will come. Okay. First was first will be the gastric problems. Second one will be the spinal problems. This is how we are going to treat when Rahu is in different signs. Next, Virgo, Kanya. If Rahu is there in Kanya, right now I am talking about Rahu only. You will get about Ketu also. First thing first, Rahu, let us finish. Rahu in Virgo, Kanya, it tells us about <coughs> intestinal problems, problems pertaining to the intestines. At the times, liver also is affected really. Okay. Tula. <clears throat> if at all Rahu sits in Tula, male or female, there will be dryness in the sexual organ. If it is a male child, definitely cement cord will be less. Okay. This is what I have traced out. Maybe you people may come out with so many other things also. But for the basis of it, for the base of it, I have given you this information. Now you are going to construct a building over that foundation. I don't know. Clear? So this is about so the Rahu in sexual dryness, which will give an entrance to childbirth. Childbirth, I told you, not only the fifth house, when the sexual organ is important, reasons may be different. If you have to diagnose to one particular area where exactly the reasoning is, then you can trace out this also and you can come up to one particular point and you can tell them that this is the main drawback. These are the two places. Clear? Next, Scorpio, uterus. Yes, these people will definitely have problem in the uterus if it is ladies or testicles, kidneys, these are the places for Scorpio, male or female, kidneys, uterus for females. Sagittarius, Danus, if Rahu sits in Danus, these people will have some problems pertaining to their thighs. Okay, health problems, I am talking. Uh, Capricorn, uh, that is kneecaps. Uh, I don't know the technical things of it, but Doctors say that if there is no fluid in the kneecaps, the easily movement of the knees will not be there and there will be a crackling sound. Uh, you can call it as a, what do you call this? Mm -hmm. I, I, I know about orthopedic problems. That will be affected because there is dryness. Rahu is nothing but dryness and if the kneecaps definitely it will kill away the fluid. This is my observation. Again I am repeating it. And of course it has come true. That is different. I have observed it and I leave it to you. Aquarius. <coughs> Aquarius. If at all Rahu is there in Aquarius, 
it will definitely give the native the problems pertaining to varicose veins or varicose arteries, calf muscles. There will be pain in the calves. Clear? Faint. Paishis. Venum. If at all Rahu is placed in the natal chart, till now what I am what I am talking is about only natal chart, not the transiting part. Kindly note that. I forgot to tell you in the beginning. Now there was I just remembered it. So when the natal chart holds Rahu or when the natal chart has Rahu in Pisces, Mena, Mena Rasi. Definitely the person's feet will have a problem, a native's feet will have a problem and you can be very sure a truck, a lorry, a car or even a bullock cart's wheel will go over the cycle wheel also or two wheelers wheel also will go on the feet of the native once. Okay, but no harm will done will be Give, no harm will be given to the feet because Rahu will not dismantle anything he will only give the problem after that the person may be now and then feeling the pain or problem but it will never be continuously dearranged or dismantled this is about Rahu in different signs now we will, we will talk about Kate what I said Rahu only brings health hazards, problems, but will not dismantle. But Kedu whereas will just try to dismantle it. Wherever, in whichever sign of Rasi is placed, will just try to dismantle it. Of course, cure part of it, or you are going to get along again in your life, yes, that will be depending on other factors. But as far as Kedu is concerned, he is going to bring an end to one particular placement of Ketu or part of the body. Now we will take it like this. Ketu and Rahu. When you bring Ketu here, this is Rahu. I told you Rahu when it comes there, I'll let me not repeat it again. But now we are concentrating. Ketu because it is in the, I mean, when placed in Aries, in the natal chart. Ketu, when placed in Aries, in the natal chart, he will give migraine, because Aries is head, Ketu is burning department, fire, burning things, so he will definitely be boiling the head. He will give migraine, and that will be prolonged. Not one day or one year or one uh, month. It will be throughout the life. People say that after doing yoga my migraine went away. <laughs> it will be just popping up again when the planetary positions are not okay. That is the second thing. Let me not discuss on uh, other uh, medical factors. Right now what I see is when Ketu is placed in the natal chart, in the Aries, Mesharasi, Definitely these people will suffer from my grief. Okay. Next, Ketu in Taurus, Vrishava. When Ketu is placed in Vrishava, Ketu will try to dismantle the throat part of it. For example, a cancer patient may get problems pertaining to the throat and it may be severed or cut off a certain portion of the skin or anything, I don't know, uh, hot box, whatever it is. I, I know the technical terms, I am very weak at uh, scientific terms, but what knowledge I have, to that extent I am trying to make you understand. So, this is nothing but removal of it. Likewise, when K2 is it, Gemini, definitely it will bring a serious problem to the shoulders or the ribs. It will just dismantle one of the ribs. Don't ask me. I have got K2 there. But I have got my body in complete fit position. I didn't know about that. There are other planets aspect. Don't ever see only one planet aspect. 
this is what is going to give us when you find this how you are going to escape from this type of an issue you have to look in a different angle blindly don't come into this area and say that I have, I have Ketu in Gemini I have no problems that is maybe you are blessed or you are totally unique <laughs> what else I can say I cannot say anything unless and until they see the other parts of the chart two faces of the coin will decide whether that is the real coin or not only one face of the coin and the other side there is no face at all that is not a coin okay likewise this is finished K2 in Gemini, it is bank. K2 in Cancer, Karkataka Ras, definitely it will give problems to the heart. I told you, K2 is like fire. K2 is like burning a planet. K2 is a burning planet. It will not leave anything. It will not spare anything. So when it sits at heart, definitely there will be bypass surgery. Okay? So, it will create problems in the heart. One easy simple answer is it will create problems to the heart, breast. Some people, if at all it is a female, breast cancer, removal of a breast. All these things are possible. We are seeing it. Okay? If you are just getting scared about all these things, uh, astrology is not a subject for you. If you are bold enough to digest it, if you are bold enough to know things, if you are able to Tell people boldly, then astrology is for you. If you are scared enough, don't get good to this. You forget about this Rahul Kate. Okay? But to know things in depth is a must. Okay? Ketu part is over. Now we will come to Leo. When Rahu sat in Leo, we said it is only gas problems. But the same Leo tells us about the spinal problems. Now here, ulcers, it is given by Ketu. And pancreatic problems given by Ketu. Spinal problem is given by Ketu. So people who have Ketu in Leo, Simmaras, they will suffer from these problems. Of course other planets, if at all there is a benefit aspect, he may come out of it by God's grace. We go to Virgo, Kanya. Ketu in Virgo will give you intestinal problems. Large intestines or small intestines. Ketu will definitely, there will be a disconnection and a connection. It may cut some portion of the intestines and join and uh, medical issues. Again, I don't have much knowledge about that, but this is the place it's going to affect you. Clear? Ketu in the sexual organ. <clears throat> Whether male or female, if at all they have Ketu in the sexual organ, two things are bound to happen. One, these people will be affected with an evil energy. Don't ask me what is evil energy because that is a lengthy story. You try to understand, definitely by this time you would have known. The day you touch astrology, you will know about energies. So definitely there is no point in me explaining it again. If at all it is a female also, same thing applies. There will be an entrance of the evil energy. Which way? How? That I will leave it to you all to know. Of course I know a little, I will tell you when I reach to the end of the subject. That evil energy will not let you do two things. Sexual organ must be fit enough to lead a happy marital life. It may be an husband, it may be a wife. When an evil energy entry is there, in a male start or a female start, there will be difference of opinion between the husbands. I am not talking about the mentality. I am talking about the bed pleasures. There will be problems in enjoying their bed pleasures. Bed pleasures. Okay. And the second thing is problems pertaining to the sexual organ. Okay. And of course, there are many problems pertaining to sexual organs. Okay. Semen count is less, or libido is less, 
whatever it is, uh, it depends. Uh, you just uh, let us not uh, take that more importantly here. That is not our concern. But this is what it is going to happen when K2 is there at later on. The same thing. When K2 comes to Scorpio, Vrishchikarasi, definitely it's going to kill the kidneys or uterus removal, these things. It's not going to happen in the childhood days. There are also rounds for Ketu. That's what I'm going to show you in the end. Just like other planets which go clockwise, even Rahu and Ketu, they have their anti-clockwise rounds. It will affect you at that time. Not as soon as he's born or she is born. It takes a time factor. Some people it will be early in life. For some people it will be late in life. This I have seen. About Scorpio, uterus, kidneys, testicles, these things. These are the places. Surgery, something like that. Dismantling of it, cutting off it. Sagittarius. Problems in the thighs, male or female. If a male or a female has K2 in Sagittarius, Thanus, in a natal chapter, definitely it will give you problems in the thighs. Movement problems. You cannot walk freely or something will be there. I know how it can really come. Okay? Now this is one beauty here. K Precon. If at all K2 is in Capricorn in a natal chart, male or female, definitely that person will suffer from dismantle of a kneecap and a rod will come there. Don't ask me whether it's right leg or left leg. That also we can tell you. But not right now. This is not the right place of giving you the difference of right or left. Because you're still, there is a, a, a little a longer way to go. Then only you can know or you can so bring it to one particular position of whether it is left leg or right leg. Even that I will teach you. That is not a very big thing. Right now that is not necessary for you. Kerrigan, Makaram, it will definitely remove the, uh, the, the bring danger to the kneecaps and definitely there will be a rod fixed in the kneecaps when Ketu is found. If at all any malefic planets, uh, benefic planets aspect is there, maybe it is going to come down a little. Instead of a rod, only one bolt or one blow bolt or nut, one plate or maybe fixed. I know about that. We will wait and see. Because this is a statistical science. What I have found out, I am giving it. Aquarius. <coughs> Same problem here. If at all you find Ketu in Aquarius, definitely it will be varicose arteries and varicose veins. It may be arteries and veins. Whether it is veins or arteries, you can know even that. <laughs> Just like I said, left leg or right leg, you, I will come to that. Don't be in a hurry. Clear? Finally, we are coming to the Pisces. Pisces, I told you, it is the feet. So when Ketu is there, in the Pisces, definitely it will bring problem to the feet through this surgery. You have seen ankle absent, that's also a problem. Definitely it will on the ankle and walking style will diminish. Not style, you cannot even walk properly when you face ankle absent. Ankle absent. So it will trouble the feet part of it, it will disconnect the feet. So these are the things. And suppose if a big lorry goes on your leg, definitely dismantling will be there. The uh, bones will be ordered and maybe they cannot replace it. Anything, anything may happen. There are people who have got their bones powdered, but they walk or uh, do things normally. But there are people, even if one bone is not okay, they cannot continue their normalcy. We got both ends. It depends upon how depth it is. Clear? So this is about Rahu and Ketu and the health and danger part of it. Now the main theory. That is, till now we have seen all the other planets clockwise movement and knowing certain things about 
clockwise movement of Jupiter or the planets or something, Saturn, for example. Now what we are going to do, we are going to learn what Rahu and Ketu are going to do to us when they go anti-clockwise. When they are also shadowy planets. But of course they are giving, see all these effects when they are giving you. Just imagine when they transit anti-clockwise and touch other planets, definitely they have to hurt you. For example, when I say the transiting Jupiter when it touches Mars, it will give him or it will bring him into accidents. Sometimes it will not happen. Because there are other patterns also. There are other significations of Mars. Mars is land. Mars is loan. Mars is clearance of debts. Even those things are there. And for a female chart it is husband. So, which of the four you are going to take into consideration? You have to watch for Rahu also the anti-clockwise movement plus the clockwise movement of the Jupiter or the other planets will give you precise knowledge about the accidents. Because Mars is nothing but accidents. I mean, accident is one of the signification of Mars and Rahu is the danger or trouble giver. So, when he touches in these rounds, even from the day one, day one means the child's birth. When he touches there, definitely he will give problems. Problems pertaining to the body and accidents only I can tell you. Okay, even if it is an young kid, it may be falling from a cradle, falling from the hand of the mother or sitting down on a chair or whatever, by kid's chair they have got just toppling. Anything, anything is possible that has to be created, it will be created by Mars and Rahu. When it's going to happen? Yes. These are the beautiful places. When Rahu comes, when Rahu comes into the fifth house from Mars, when Rahu comes into the seventh house from Mars, at that time Ketu will be there with Mars. When Rahu is in the ninth house from Mars, these are the places, five, seven and nine, these are the places where either Rahu or Ketu will try to give troubles. Right now we are concentrating on Mars. Mars is the creator of accidents. He has got other significations. That is possible only when transiting Jupiter touches Mars. Clear? But when anti-clockwise, the moment of Rahu touches Mars, it or it sits when Rahu sits in the fifth house from Mars or the ninth house from Mars or with Mars conjunction one also let me add one also okay very rarely I find this one because I'll tell you why so now we will write down a chart and see how to know about this Rahu and Mars okay uh, for example Mars is here. A chart is having Mars in Capricorn. Uh, we will uh, say it like this. Or Rahu is here. In Pisces. A native, he or she, we are not bothered. It is common for both. And I am not talking about husband. It is not a female chart. Or even if it is a female chart, we are not considering this as an husband. Right now, we are trying to connect this and Rahu and see what it is going to happen. Okay? So, when, Ra when Rahu a touches, touches Mars, or when Rahu is in the fifth and ninth house from Mars, 
when Rahu touches Mars, when Rahu is in 5th and 9th house from Mars, definitely accident will be seen. Yeah. How to calculate that? I told you, in one sign of Rasi, one and a half year it takes. Rahu takes one and a half year for traveling to the next Rasi. Now, we will visualize like this or we will you will use it or we will think like this oral calculation one and a half one and a half three plus one the native when he is he or she the native when he is four years old by that time Rahu will touch her at that time when the child is four years old definitely there will be an accident this is first place second place from Mars he has to go to here, that is, I am talking about only Rahu, not Ketu, definitely when Rahu is there, Ketu will be there. I am not bothered about Ketu now. I am just concentrating on only Rahu. So when Rahu is there again, the fifth house, trinal sign, sight, definitely there will be an accident. It may be a minor, it may be a major, it depends. How to know about that, that you will come when? Transiting rounds comes. I am not going to bring both into one section and try to confuse you. I am only giving you a clear cut idea of what Rahu and Mars does for us. So now the Mars has gone here. From when it has gone? If the, the beginning was here, four years it came here. And it, uh, once again, uh, this is three years and this is three years, six years. And uh, this is three years, nine years, ten years. Ten years you will have an accident. It depends. No, it does not depend. I'll tell you. First basic thing is wherever the Rahu is placed in a natal chart, that is the place always it will be affected. Understood? Wherever the placement of Rahu is there or wherever the dismantling part of Ketu is there, those are the places it is going to dismantle, it is going to give us problem, it is going to be affected. So now the natal chart is important to trace out how many times the kid may fall but still it will be affecting you only one particular place where that where in the natal chart Rahu is placed. This is for sure. Or Ketu is placed. This is for sure. Fine. Next, 9th house. <coughs> Rahu in 9th house. I told you, when it touches, when it touches Mars, when he is in the 5th house from Mars, or when he is in the 9th house from Mars. No? He has come here, fifth house. Poor fellow, he has gone anti-clockwise. And from Rahu's placement, how many houses? He is staying in the eleventh house. Eleventh house, Rahu stays, he will become fifth house from Mars. He has to do. How many years he takes? How many years Rahu takes to come along the anti-clockwise movement till eleventh house? Eleven years plus half. That is uh, five and half or six. Seventeen. So 16 to 17, in between the 16 to 17, he will be have, having one more accident. You would ask me whether it will be a major one only. No, no, no. Even the smallest one also is an accident. Because other planets are travel, other planets also transiting and benefit benefit or benefit plant aspect will be there in that particular Rahu. So he will save him. So he will just go scratching the skin. Instead of dismantling it. Hope you have understood. I will repeat once again. Immaterial of number of accidents. The place of effect will be the placement of Rahu and Ketu. Apart from that no other parts of the body will be affected. This is final. And then the years of accidents or the years and, uh, uh, during which the years of the native, the age of the native during which the accidents are going to take place. 
depends upon the travelling distance of the, I mean travelling time factor of the Ra, one and a half year each side. And where they exactly, which placement exactly gives the accident? With Mars, 5th house from Mars, 9th house from Mars, 5th house from Mars. With Mars, touching Mars, 5th and 9th. Clear? Same thing we will go with K. Hope you have understood. Parts of the body will be affected according to the natal Rahu only. This is clear cut. You see ample number of horoscopes. You will find the same answer. Clear? But period according to the distance between 5th house from Mars or 9th house from Mars. That is the beauty of Mars and Rahu. It will give you accidents. This is one part of Rahu's job. Side by side Ketu also. Because Ketu will always follow Rahu. He will be in the ninth house. But again when Ketu touches Mars, when Ketu touches, he will affect. He will give the effect. But it will be a different effect. Now this is Rahu's point is over. When he is going to do, when he is going to touch, that is the point. Rahu with Mars I have told you. At the same time, Rahu will be touching the other planets also. He will be touching Sun, he will be touching Moon, he will be touching Venus. What is he going to do at that time? Yes. I am sorry, if I was fast. Rahu, Mars, accidents. At the same time, Rahu will touch Sun. Rahu, in his anti-clockwise moment, he will touch Moon. He will touch Venus. He will touch Mercury. He will touch everybody. Ketu will touch Sun. Ketu will touch Mars. Ketu will touch uh, Moon. Ketu will touch Venus. Ketu, fifth and ninth from Venus. Okay? Same. Whatever we are following for Rahu, we are going to do the same with Ketu. But the outcome, the result will be totally different. One will harm and bring you back. One will definitely put you on the loss. So this is a chart. And in this chart also, and same system. There is nothing indifferent. Only thing is K2 we are going to mark it. Uh, K2. Now what, what, what we wanted to see? We wanted to see about um, Sun. Okay, Rahu is here. Clear? Just like when Rahu touched Mars in an natal chart, in the same format, when Rahu touches Sun, remember this, when Rahu touches Sun, he will do two things. He may bring, not only really touching, Rahu touching Sun or in the fifth and ninth house from Sun. Rahu touching Sun or in the fifth house and ninth house from Sun. What is Sun? Sun is two things. One is father in the natal chart. Sun is the father. And also Sun is the name and fame. Okay, so when Rahu touches in the anti-clockwise movement, when Rahu transits reversally and touches Sun, definitely he will bring either the problems to the father or loss of name to the native. He or she, he may do it. We are not bothered. Both will have the same effect. Likewise. When Rahu touches or when Rahu touches moon or when Rahu is in the fifth house from moon or when Rahu is in the ninth house from moon for example Rahu is here this gentleman goes clockwise whereas he goes anti-clockwise 
So now how long it will take to come for the ninth house? Seven, eight, nine. Till here Rahu has to come. Till here Rahu has to come. And Rahu has to come here. That is the age when the mother will be affected. Or uh, the native will have tensions or problems pertaining to mind, tensions, worries, disturbances. When? Rahu is here at the time of birth. How many houses? 1, 2, 3, 4. So, 4 into 1 plus 4 into half. 3 years. No, 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 no. This is 3 and this is three. 6 years. Four, 4 into 2, 6 years. So, at the age of 6, definitely the mother, some problems to the mother will be there or the native may have depressions or something. He may face depression. Next, to come here, how long it will take? This is the natal chart. Rahu is here in the natal chart in Libra. From Libra he has to go here. That is the 8th house. 8th house means 8 years plus 4 years, 12 years. 6 years, 3, 3, 6 years, 12 years. Exactly at the age of 12. Definitely again he will try to trouble the mother on. Meanwhile, not only Rahu is travelling, Clockwise you will have Jupiter, clockwise you will have Venus. Those people are going to put a support or they will give a supporting hand and save the moon or save the depression part of it likewise. Okay. In the same format, now moon is over, sun is over, Saturn. Now we will take Saturn into consideration. Saturn, if at all Rahu touches, Rahu touches Saturn or it stays in the 5th or ninth from Saturn and one more when Saturn aspects Rahu what? in the placement of moon we will put Saturn here Saturn is a profession Saturn is his activities when Rahu touches Saturn Luckily, he will change the job pattern of the individual, the working style of the individual, he or she. When it touches Saturn, when he is in the fifth house from Saturn, when Rahu is there in the Saturn, he will change the pattern of the job, change the working style of the business, change the modus operandi of the business or the work. That is Rahu and Saturn. Whereas, when Ketu comes, now this is the beauty here. When Ketu, Ketu uh, let us hope or let us assume, Ketu is in Libra. Now he has to come to the fifth house from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Fifth house from Saturn. Ninth house from Saturn with Saturn. The first round, the first round because 18 years, Ketu to that placement of Ketu, it is 18 years. First round will be disturbing the native, giving him health issues, giving him health issues only he will disturb. Jupiter will save him, but Saturn and Ketu will give him health issues. But in the second round, that is from 18 to 36. 1 to 18 is first round. Ketu will come back and sit down there in Libra. The second round begins. At that time you can tell that his profession, the second round, his profession will be affected because profession means even while he is studying, if at all he is studying in some university, he cannot do because all the activities are given by Saturn. Not only profession, not only earning money. The study part of it, even that doing also will not be okay, disturbance will come. Ketu sitting here uh, with Saturn will definitely disturb his way of doing things. If he is studying regularly, he will disconnect him, Ketu. If he sits at the fifth house, that is 18 and uh, this is 3, 21 and 3, uh, 24. At the age of 24, it will disturb him from his studies. And from here, 
if he comes and if he has a job, he will give suspension at times or he will remove from the services. He, the Saturn and Ketu, Ketu in the fifth house from Saturn, Ketu with Saturn, vice versa. Even when transiting Saturn comes and touches Ketu, there will be a change of job, a change in pattern, pattern of the job, a suspension from a job or getting away from uh, going into a new job. Likewise, the anti-clockwise movement will bring trouble to the profession. It is not quitting. It is suspension. This is what I have seen. I will wait for your answers also. Maybe you, you are a better person. Maybe you people there, throat, right over the world, have uh, many other answers for me. Let me see. Because I do want to enjoy more of astrology. Till now what I have gained, that tells me, that gives me the search of information. It is suspension when Ketu transits. But it is change of job when transiting Saturn touches Ketu. Clear? You notice it and you let me know. I will be happy. This is not a word it. This is only an interaction between you and me for the subject or about the subject. Please note it or take it that way. Okay? I am not the sole authority. You people are the sole authorities. You people are the decision makers now. Because the subject has been handed over. What all the theses I have done, that I am handing it over to you. You scramble the papers, you rewrite it, you do whatever you want. But come out with one beautiful subject. I will be very very happy and I will be the happiest person in the world. Because I have struggled for this. I have struggled 35 years to know what exactly these things are. Okay. Because I found out that the beauty of this is getting lost. I wanted to see that at least a few hundred people may become masters of this. Okay. okay. Let me not uh, bring all the sentimental things here. Uh, this is what it is. Case to one side. So Saturn is about job, when Ketu touches Saturn, in his rounds, I am talking about the Ketu, natal chart, natal Ketu, in his anti-clockwise movements, when he touches Saturn, definitely suspension is seen. There is something going on in the job. Or unnecessarily, because of somebody also, the man who is working very good, he will also get into, or he will also put his figure in the suit. This is about Saturn. Venus. Instead of prolonging it, that was an important topic. Yes, Venus. Whenever the transiting Ketu touches Venus, definitely it will bring loss of money to the native. Sources may be different, whichever sources it may be, but loss of money will be there. Through medication, through the wife, or through the sister, anyhow. Okay. Loss of money is seen. When Rahu comes there with Venus, a new flow of funds he will give you. Okay. Mercury. When Ketu in the first round touches Mercury, educational institution of the candidate changes. Note this. During the Ketu's transiting rounds, in the first 18 years, whenever he touches Mercury, he will change the subject or he will change the institution of the study. Second round, after 18 to 36, he will definitely bring disconnections with the neighbors or with the relative circle. Or at times bring problems from the court cases. That is not good. Okay. So, I think I have done A little better today. Okay. Though my health was not okay, I still tried to. Uh, because of the because of my love towards the subject, I, I wanted to give it to you. I gave it to you. And anything you want to analyze it, anything you want to do it on your own, please just drop in or give a motivator. When you write a comment, don't don't get a comment on my subject. 
Or at least you analyze something and put it on the mail that I have done this and I will be the happiest person. Okay. So till I meet you next time, I would like to meet our uh, next uh, video will be regarding the rounds of Jupiter. That is the main artery system or main spinal cord of Nadi astrology. After that, we will go about month-wise predictions, day-wise predictions. Finally, we will jump into Astakavarga. I am definitely taking the support of Astakavarga to know the incident, I mean, have the timing of events. I will tell you that also. So, till I meet you next time, I would like to bid you 